up for what I drank last night. <laughs> Trust me. Two hours tonight we're getting. Pardon me. Two hours. Two uh, hours set, I believe. Yes. Right, yeah. yeah. Is that a... Do you, do you sigh of relief when you get told it's a two-hour set? Or, or, <laughs> or is it a oh, what? No, no, no. We, we picked that ourselves. Good. The last couple of years we actually played 215. But um, now we, we brought it down to two hours. But we've taken out all the, like the bass solos and all that type of stuff. Because James, our singer, wanted to sit down a couple of times so now there's no sitting down now we just go for two hours and we What's come off stage and down? collapse it's a rock yeah. show I know <laughs> exactly that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, talk to him about that I'm here now <laughs> yeah I know that you you choose the set list it's kind of your responsibility to go yeah. through and make sure that it all flows smoothly I mean are there, are there times when you know you can still get that wrong where it clangs a little bit and certain tracks feature well, what we're doing every night is we change the set list every night and so some of the trans um, transitions from songs that come down get a little clunky but that's all part of the fun and games, and, and I think that it's much better to be able to go out and do different stuff every night. We have a lot of fans that, that travel with us from show to show. And now also, you can go on, on uh, we have this live Metallica thing where you can go and download the show yeah. right after we've played it. Wow. So now you're actually not just playing for 80,000 people in Reading, you're playing for the whole world. So we play a different set list ever since we started this five years ago. Yeah. We haven't played the same set twice. Amazing. That's pretty cool. That's amazing. Keeps it exciting, keeps it fresh, keeps it, you know. For us, it absolutely yeah, it does. Definitely. Yeah, because you, you actually have to look at the set list. <laughs> and you have to go, hey, what song's coming up next? You've got someone to do that for you, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, now. Come yeah. on. Uh, well, well, I, actually, I actually write the set list, so I remember <laughs> you know, most of it. Uh, Zane got the chance to, uh, to, to, what did you do this afternoon? I you went hung and sniffed out? your underwear. It was great. <laughs> no, I went backstage. That, that and was before out. they were washed, right? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't tell me that till wow. afterwards. I went and hung out with some of your crew, the production crew. I met sure. Paul, who's over doing the monitors and stuff, and he took us around the stage. It's great. It's pretty amazing. And, you know, we went under the platform, which is already, you know, which is already sort of uh, erected and stuff. Actually, I wasn't He's supposed to, but... Uh, Uh-oh. I got into Hetfield. James Hetfield was looking for that. I know. Okay. He has one He's been walking shot? around for two I hours. I hate to tell you this, man. I got an insider in the camp. <laughs> okay. I got a knock in the camp who hooked okay. me up with this. Okay, let's have a That's quick look good. at what happened with Zane, and we'll come back and chat to you in a second. Here's uh, what happened when Zane went behind the scenes with Metallica. It's Sunday, rock day, Metallica. It's pretty much their day from the second they arrive on site, which they haven't done yet, which means we can roll in there and have a quick snoop around. Come on, let's go. This is Metallica specific. Hey man, how are you? How you doing? I'm Zane. What's your name? Frankie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So this is the Metallica compound. Yep, this is Metallica compound. The guys aren't here yet. Do you mind just showing us around a little bit and, and giving us the lay of the land? Yeah, sure. This is uh, food and schmooze. Food and schmooze right here. It's like like family, friends. You know, like like there's stuff that we got to kind of keep off limits. Like right before they're gonna get here, we get a warning that they're coming. Bam! Throw everything out. The wardrobe team and everything does their thing and as you can see everything from aspirin to socks. So this looks like the magic room? Yep. Tuning in attitude. <laughs> this is it right here. This is the dream to be able to to come here before playing a show that big and just jam with your mates. Yeah, I mean I mean think about it when, when you're a kid, you're just you know, begging your parents to even have a spot like this yeah. and, and they have this every day to, to warm up on, you know. You gotta do me a solid, you gotta get me a little pick or something. So when I talk to Lars later on, I can tell him I walked away with a pick out of the compound. So once production are happy and the band are ready to leave the dressing rooms and make their way to the stage for showtime, the most important thing to take care of is sound. The guy who takes care of that business is Paul. He's the monitor man and we're gonna to talk to him right now. 
big show tonight. Headlining slot it's in the main stage. It's not raining. And how long have you been with Metallica for? Uh, 23 years. Now. You want to give us a little tour about how this all works? This is this is Kirk Thaddeus. He'll do his guitar changes, come back to his tech, and go back out that side. Wow, I mean, there are fans who are quite happily live, pay rent to live in there. Oh, uh, without a doubt. This is Lars's kid, of course. Yeah. We have two complete productions like this, exactly the same for when we leap from. And there's also one in the tuning room for warm up. So he's got four kids out here. This is. Uh, James is out here right here. Look at this. Who's Bob? This is where we fired all the pyro from. Yeah. You know, no matter how much you tell people it's coming, standing next to you, go bang, now they go, yeah, and then all of a sudden the first one goes off and they all cram themselves. <laughs> it looks like a Metallica show, doesn't it? Straight away. Well, you have to make it your yeah. show, you know? Yeah. You have to put your footprint on it. You can't just be another one of the bands. Ah, true to your word. Got it, bro. Thank you, man. Good looking out. There you go. Oh, he's, he's man, fired, I, I told him not fired. to put his face, yeah. I told him to blur his face. He's actually never really worked for us. He's, we're, he's uh, an intern. <laughs> so you've I got, don't care who gave it to me, man. There it's it is all on good. the table. Did I hear right on that, that tape that you have four drum kits? Uh, right something like you that. I, got, you know, I'm like John McCain. I don't, I can't count that high. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, um, we have a couple different systems. We yeah. do what's called leapfrogging a lot, which is that you have one system in... Holland, and then they're setting up the next show in France okay. or whatever. And then we have the drums back in that tuning room where we go because we change the set list yeah. every night, like we talked about. We sort of sometimes go in and oh, wait, that song we haven't played that one in three months. Maybe we should just give it a knock before we yeah. go up and share it with 80,000 people, you know? Well, you, you, you seem so relaxed and excited about tonight. Any nerves at all? Or? No. Nah. <laughs> this is Lars, man. I, Metallica. No. It's like. No, I mean, look, it's, it's if anything. It's the anticipation, yeah. which is more of a positive thing than being nervous. It's like, you know, I want to go out and rock and, and yeah. do all that. But um, they have us doing so much of this stuff before the you show. You forget I've, that you I've actually did a show, yeah. I've oh, done hours of interviews, and we just did a photo session for Rolling yeah. Stone magazine and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, okay, now you got to go over here. Now you got to go do a meet and greet. And well, now listen. you got to put those underwear on that he was, you know, sniffing <laughs> earlier, we'll, that whole thing, so it never ends. We'll let you get back there and, and do a little drum warm-up uh, well, and you. have a great show tonight. We look, we look forward to, to watching it. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very Good much. see you guys. Thank you. Nice to meet Thank you, Lars. Thank you.